and welcome back to my channel so as you guys see by the title in today's video we about to get cute we about to do this love what is it get ready with me take instagram pictures because baby girl for one my instagram ain't popping and it need to be popping okay and the only way it's gonna be popping is if i post on it which i don't but that's what we're gonna do you know, I'm looking kind of ratchet, but it's fine. Don't mind my background because I'm actually cleaning my sheets and stuff right now. So that's why it's like that. Okay, yeah. So I just got done brushing my teeth because, you know, you got to have good smelling bread. Girl, no, let me not do that. Now I'm going to moisturize my face. I'm just going to use this Illuminate Me with body butter. Because actually, this... I was using this Olay stuff, Olay Regenerous Collagen Peptide 24 Cream, but your girl ran out and I just didn't get any more. So I'm just gonna use this little wet body butter because it does the job perfectly fine. And if that's the case, what the heck do I need that Olay stuff for? You know what I'm saying? So I'm just gonna put this on my face. I'm not gonna put too much, but ooh, that is a lot on that side. Feeling fresh already. And then I'm gonna go in with this Olay eye cream because I don't know. This be making my eyes feel fresh and it helps with um my eye bags underneath. Now I'm just going to use this hydrating facial mist. I just got this from the dollar store because you know it make your face feel nice and hydrated, and that's what we want. So I'm just gonna fan it. So as some of you guys know, I don't know if you do, if you don't, but I do not wear makeup. So we not doing makeup because for one, I don't know how to do it. And for two, I don't wear it. So what's the point? We just about to get some lashes on and some lip gloss, baby girl. Oh, first, before we do anything, we about to get this hair done. I can't be looking like this. I wash my hair. Usually when I wash my hair, I'll like detangle it when I get out the shower and stuff like that. But I actually wanted to do like a little curly look for this video. So I was like, shoot. I put it in four little buns and then I just put a scarf on to hold them together so they don't come out. Cause I ain't wear my hair curly in a little minute. So I was like, let's do that. Plus I'm tired of like, I'm not tired of detangling my hair. Cause I mean like I've been doing it my whole life. But you know, I just feel like, you know, switch up your look a little bit. I don't want to keep looking like that. Oh baby girl, you see these edges boo? I didn't even pull them down. I didn't even pull them down, baby girl. Okay. <laughs> hey, who don't got edges? Okay. And I don't even have to pull them down. So I'm just going to go section at a time. See, my curls really ain't in here. But it's fine. We're going to get them today. So I'm just going to spritz it down with water. See, my ends of my hair, they're like the most driest part of my whole head. Like, my roots, you would think the roots would be the driest. No, it's the ends of my hair. Like, you see that? I really be needing to focus on the ends because the ends, girl. Mm. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put my products in it. Last night before I put it up, I actually put this Aussie Miracle Curls Leave-In Detangling Milk in it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a little bit more to this section so it can get, you know, some moisture in it. And y'all see how them curls just come popping like that? Okay, cause period. All right, and then boom, you got curls popping for days, baby girl. I'm also gonna go in with this Aussie Miracle Coils Shaping Jelly. And y'all, I got all these products at Walmart. And then I'm just going to go ahead and just put this all throughout this section. And boom, curls for days. The reason I don't wear my hair curly is because it like be shrinking up. I don't really like to wear my hair short. After the big chop, I'm like, okay, this big chop look good on me. When I did, did the big chop, girl, never again. I don't think I'm going to ever do that thing again. Now, don't get me wrong. The big chop, it's worth it. But I'm saying, you wake up some days, your hair is short. And plus, I had gained a lot of weight. So, I wasn't, like, really happy with myself. The reason I say I'm not going to do it again is because, like, you can't really do hairstyles. That's one thing that I don't like about it. When I did a big chop, really all I did was, like, little side part, little, you know, ponytails in the front. I mean, that's it. Because, I mean, your hair is so short, you can't put it up in a ponytail. You can't do none of that. And me, I like to wear my ponytails. It's kind of, like, limited, and I don't like that. Because I don't like looking the same all the time. I like to switch it up. But when I did get the big chop, I was like, okay, well, you know, I'm going to get some wigs and stuff like that to switch up my look and my hair will be short so I don't have to worry about braiding it down and stuff like that. Girl, we wear. I got one wig within the whole, no, I'm going to say I got two wigs within the whole two years to this point. Now, if my hair gets messed up again, well, see, that's what I'm trying to avoid because the reason I had to do the big chop was because my hair was damaged. When I tell you it was damaged, I was bleaching it, dyeing it, straightening it all the time without any heat protecting spray, y'all, without anything. Uh, 
you can tell I didn't know what I was doing and I was just trying to make some concoctions. And what I mean by that is just getting flat iron and boom, 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 putting leave-in conditioner and then trying to flat iron that. Girl, like, yeah, you know. I'm glad I did the big chop when I did it because, big girl, if I would've did that right now, you know how, like, upset I'll be? I couldn't do anything with my hair. So this is how much it grew in two years. Like, I've learned so much about hair. Like, do y'all see what I be meaning? Like, my ends are so just dry. I didn't even tell y'all the hairstyle I'm doing. The hairstyle I'm doing is, I'm doing a half up, half down, but with two ponytails up here in the back. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. I hope it turn out how I'm thinking it's gonna turn out. I've been wanting to do a hairstyle for a little minute, so I was like, hey, why not do it on this video? Instead of doing a regular old ponytail, because that's what I was thinking. I was just like, I'm gonna do a regular old ponytail, what I usually be doing. It's time to switch it up. So I was like, perfect opportunity. And then I can take some pictures and videos too. And y'all know I love me some pictures and videos of myself. That's another thing, self-love. You know, I'm glad I'm learning to love the girl I'm becoming. Or woman, because baby girl, your girl about to be 18 soon, period. I'm loving the person that I'm becoming, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm getting what I need to get done, learning a lot about my Myself, learning what I like what I don't like trying to find new things to like and you know just to experiment and to see if I like it or not you can't succeed if you just staying in the same spot you gotta grow if you're not growing what are you doing so I like to take a lot of pictures and videos and stuff too you know see my growth and stuff like that what I look like doing <laughs> so I'm pretty sure the product is good but y'all see how these curls just came you know what I really want to try I really want to try um individual lashes I've been seeing videos and people be doing their own individual lashes Okay, cause yeah, why y'all ain't tell me about this one? I also got this Runch Hairspray 24 Hour Curl Lock. I'ma just put that on at the end cause I don't want it to be locking up when I'm trying to actually style it. So it actually came out cute. I was low key going for this look. Girl, I was going for this look. What do you mean? I'm about to go ahead and do my little curly edges. So basically, what I do with these little curly edges is I go ahead and take my Shea's Bomb Edge Control and then I will just, you know, apply it like you would normally do. And then I'm going to go ahead and swoop the first part. Girl, this hair is, you know. And then I'm going to bring down this little part and swoop it. And then with the excess hair that's thickening up, I'll take my Eco, just a little finger, and then go ahead run it through it and then I'll comb it out and then pull them and then boom got your little curly edges Here. so I'm just do the same thing on this side now I'm gonna do my little sideburns I don't really do much with them I just you know comb them down and then I'm gonna do edges up here so now I'm gonna go ahead and go on with my little hairspray to lock these curls in so y'all, I actually had got these lashes the other day. I got them and I wanted to try them on, but I never got a chance to try them on. So I was like, it's the perfect day to try them on. So it's actually these lashes. I got them from my local beauty supply store, y'all. And they're actually really, really cute. Cause you know, we gotta do it big or we not doing it at all. They feel really, really full, which is always a good thing. Make sure you always size your lashes, y'all. Cause you don't just wanna like plop them on. Make sure you size them. I don't think I've ever worn lashes this big. But these are pretty big. I mean, they're not heavy though. I'm telling you, I don't know, but is this supposed to be like real lash hair? Real mink? Mm -hmm. I'm not used to them feeling like this. They feel like synthetic hair. Like all the other lashes I've had, they never felt like this. All 
All right, so this is the lashes. They real cute. I actually like them. Real I was kind of iffy about them because they were like so big, but like I said, go big or don't do it at all. I know it's go big or go home, but that's what I'm saying. We about to do our little lip combo. I'm actually gonna go with this rose hip oil. So I'm going to outline my lips. I like to like blend it down just so that it can like blend in. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and put some of this on it. Right, right, right. So now that we're done with the appearance, we're gonna get this outfit right. I already got it laid out. So I'm gonna show y'all when it's on. Okay, y'all. So this the look. Okay, cuz here it is. Your girl stepped out. But y'all know that though. This top is from Rainbow. These shorts, I have no idea where they're from. This necklace is from Amazon. These earrings are from Walmart. So this just a look, you know, something simple, cute. Oh, I can't forget the bag. Oh yeah, y'all already know my bag from Shein. Let's see up here. So now I'm about to go ahead and start with the pictures. But hold on, let me go ahead and pause real quick. Yeah. Okay. Okay, girl, cause yeah. <laughs> y'all, I don't never get dressed up. So what I do, okay, girl, cause you girl gonna step out, period. Period. But yes, y'all, now I'm about to take some pictures, so enjoy. Now I'm about to go outside and take some pictures out there because I got to get some body pictures. Let me not forget this bag on purse. My mama's going to take my pictures for me. What's up, y'all? Jaybird here. Follow me on TikTok, jaybird337 underscore Green Acre fam. Okay, y'all, so that was it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and I hope y'all like the fit, because, baby girl, this is cute and inside my comfort zone, because I would never go for shorts like this, but I'm glad I did, because it's actually really cute. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, comment something nice down below, and also subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to click that post notification bell, so you guys can be notified every time I post a video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.